how do we serve members that are in various stages of their career or changing and how do we make those services more relevant to those members and that's what member segmentation is all about we see generally that members are quite satisfied with the services of the real estate board but when we start drilling down to people with specific needs and different types of members we start to see that there are gaps well the first step in member segmentation is to understand what are the potential segments that are out there um, how do the services currently fit those segments what do we need to perhaps change but management's going to come back with a plan to implement now changes and understand what those segments are and then go forward with services and see how that will change um, the deliverables of the board our CRM is our customer relationship management so right now um, members have very little in interaction um, with a back-end product that is outdated it uh, doesn't allow us to do half of the functionality that we really want and it's time for us to do that so the board has invested about 1.2 million dollars budget uh, and then the actual costs have come around to about 800,000 so you'll be able to go on very similar to how you would on many sites in a shopping cart type of environment be able to buy courses you'll be able to uh, purchase items from the store you'll be able to see your profile you'll be able to engage with the board and see a much more holistic type of uh, system that the board will understand you a little bit better in the services that you need and you'll be able to interact with it in a totally different way than you that you don't have today so one of the concepts that um, the board of directors has looked at is, a, is an event that was called Realtors Celebrating Excellence and it's one that's near and dear to my heart it's about bringing in all of the elements in real estate under the banner of a realtor and looking at our communities, looking at our, um, our partners, as well as adding perhaps a trade show, perhaps having some type of medallion event or uh, panel discussions. Maybe it's even open to the public. But we want something that realtors can be proud of, something that's going to change realtor value in the community. Obviously, with a big event like this, it might be you know one or two day event is is the estimate it's probably going to take about a year to a year and a half to plan it so from now until the end of the year we're going to look at the feasibility of it and the costing and the implementation of it will probably be in 2014 so at our annual breakfast meetings that we have with members or our member linking sessions um, we're looking at trying to add some topics which are important to members as well and, and see where those discussions could take us. One of those is advocacy, another of those is enforcement, MLS. What we really want to focus on is this is an opportunity for members to come out, tell us what they see that's happening um, in their practices. Where is the board uh, not delivering services? Where can we help that out and understand that feedback? So the Board Development Committee's mandate is to go out, under, look at members who might be interested to run for the Board of Directors, but also to be able to participate in the board, whether it's a committee, whether it's a CREA, whether it's a council, and try to build a set of those people and encourage them to run. So over the past couple of months, we've been really encouraged. 10 to 15 members have come forward um, offering their skill sets, offering some background, and we've started to now database and uh, build a pool of those skills. And so we're encouraging members who see this and want to contact the Board Development Committee who have an interest to perhaps run for election. Come and talk to us what you're interested in and doing and get involved in the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver. It's a great experience. Thank you.